Breaking news tonight. A family is held hostage inside their home. A woman is tortured and her child is threatened. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Matt Rivers, who's live in Oxford Circle with the breaking details here, Matt. Chris and Jessica, there were five victims in this attack on the 1500 block of Rosalie Street just behind me, and it appears the worst off among them is a 28 year old woman. Police tell us she was tortured in front of both her two year old daughter and her four year old nephew. A pair of men broke into the back door of this home on the 1500 block of Rosalie, attacking the people inside. A 28 year old woman, her two year old daughter and four year old nephew, her 54 year old mother and an electrician working at the house. These two individuals tied up all three of the adults. They tied up their wrists and their ankles. Beating up the electrician in the process, the pair started demanding money, something the 28 year old said she didn't have. That's when one of the attackers picked up a kitchen knife, turned on the stove, and put the blade in the flame. And then four separate times burnt the 28 year old female, burnt her face, both of her arms, and her stomach. Still, she refused to speak, so the crime went further. Then picked up the, the 28 year old's two year old daughter, threatened to kill the daughter if she didn't say where the money was. Finally, she caved and gave up some money she had. So did her mother and the electrician. The pair got away with nearly four grand. Glenn Sanders is related to all the victims, an ex-husband, father, and grandfather. Her mother called me crying and said she's tied up. And uh, she, uh, you know, you know. You gotta be in this position. I've never been in this situation. He's livid though and hopes police catch those responsible. Neither he nor the police know why the crooks would target this house. And police are still on the hunt for these two men tonight. They have a limited description of what the pair looks like, but they're hoping that fingerprint evidence recovered inside the home where all of this happened will help them identify these suspects. We're live in Northeast Philadelphia. Matt Rivers, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.